it's such a common occurrence in the data center that you're going to want to increase availability. You're really going to want to leverage bandwidth by building port channels between your devices. In this micro nugget, let's take a look at the link aggregation control protocol for doing this, particularly troubleshooting it. Now there is a related actual course nugget I want to point out, and that is Keith and I's Cisco Routing and Switching Troubleshooting Mastery Series. If you scroll down here and see nugget number seven, it's don't fumble your bundle. So I highly suggest you take a look at that as a nice prerequisite, if you will, for the information that we're going to cover in this nugget. Now, it would be pretty irresponsible of me to discuss the troubleshooting of link aggregation control protocol without first reviewing a couple of things about port channels that these link aggregation protocol packets are going to help us form. A question I get all the time from students is, look, how many links can I bundle together on this Nexus equipment, for example? And the answer is, well, it really depends. What I see more than anything these days is the maximum number being 8 or 16. On newer equipment, we can get all the way up to 16 links, physical links bundled together, and that is obviously great news for high availability as well as that bandwidth. And remember, if your device is a Layer 2 device, it can, of course, build the bundle at Layer 2. But if your device understands Layer 3 routing, you're probably going to be able to build a Layer 3 routed bundle utilizing link aggregation control protocol as well. Now, you probably remember that on the fancy Nexus equipment, we can have things called virtual device contexts. This is where we will take a physical device and divide it up into different VDCs. As you might guess, your port channel needs to radiate from the same virtual device context. This makes great sense. Now, the link aggregation control protocol is our dynamic way in which to form a bundle of physical links. Is there another way we could do it? There is, and it is the static configuration. I want you to note that the port aggregation control protocol is indeed fading out of existence as it is Cisco proprietary, and we're just seeing support for it dropped on our more modern devices. Now, the fundamental command that we're going to use together when troubleshooting link aggregation control protocol is indeed the same command that we would utilize if we were statically configuring our bundles. It's show port channel summary. Notice on this particular Nexus device, it says, okay, Anthony, you have port channel one, and it gives us a status code of capital S, important to note that, and capital U. This means that we do indeed have a layer two port channel, and it is currently up. It's built with Ether channel as the technology, and yes, indeed, we have elected to dynamically form it with the link aggregation control protocol. This must be one of our new fancy devices that will allow 16 physical links in the bundle, because you can see that is exactly what we have, and you notice a designation of uppercase P, which indicates that yes, indeed, these particular ports are members of a port channel and they are currently in the up status. Now, when we are configuring link aggregation and control protocol, we have two options for its configuration, active and passive. So what's the deal with on? Well, sure enough, on is the static method of the configuration of the bundle. So if you've got device A and device B, and you have one side configured with on and the other side configured with active or passive, I don't care. We're not going to have the formation of our bundle. And that's because this side, the A side, is clearly not running link aggregation and control protocol. If we go active, active, sure, no problem. If we go active, passive, no problem. But of course, Passive on one side and passive on the other would not work because it's kind of like that high school dance situation where all the girls are on one side of the gymnasium, all the boys are on the other side of the gymnasium, and everyone's too shy to initiate dancing. 
Oh, I sniffle as I think back to my childhood. Now, remember too on Nexus Gear, a lot of these features aren't default features. So you have to go in and you have to say feature LACP. And by the way, if you wanted to do a no feature LACP type of command in order to disable this, please keep in mind that you need to make sure there are not currently any Ether channel bundles that you have formed because you can't disable link aggregation control protocol if that's the fact. You can go in and delete your port channels and you don't need to reboot or anything fancy like that. You can delete the port channels and then you can disable the feature. But just keep in mind that that particular dependency does exist if we're trying to disable our link aggregation control protocol. So what I like to do is this. To make sure we're trouble free, I like to go into my devices. Let's say we have just these two links that we're going to bundle together. I go in here and I physically down everything. I'll do the same thing over here. Let's get everything in the nice down state. We will make sure that we have no chance for a misconfiguration. We then pick our mode. Maybe it's active we're going to do on this side, passive we're going to do on this side. And then when we're sure of the configuration, we're just going to go ahead and no shut this stuff. And then we are going to do our verifications. The show port channel summary command is so incredibly valuable. But should you suspect there is some link aggregation control protocol issue, please note it. We have a robust set of show commands and even the ability to debug link aggregation control packets that are being sent between these devices. So in this micro nugget, we took a look at troubleshooting link aggregation control protocol in the Cisco data center. This was indeed a small, small slice of content out of our Cisco data center unified fabric troubleshooting course known as DCUFT right here at CBT Nuggets. I sure hope this micro nugget was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.